What's going on YouTube? GS now right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use phone trans in order to transfer data from your device to another or to clone another phone. So this tool is actually quite great. It provides a lot of methods to actually do backups or transfer phone to phone, iOS to Android, Android to iOS and so on. And there is also a free version available so you can see exactly how the program looks like and what it does. It's available for both Windows and Mac OS and that's actually great because I know many of you have Windows and it's definitely available and supports Windows. So what this does is to basically allow you to transfer data from a device to another, but you're not really constrained on what data you can transfer. You can go from iOS or iPadOS to Android, Android to iOS, you can do clones, you can do full backups locally, and so on. And they even provide very reliable guides in here on how to do phone to phone and phone backups and so on, how to rescue data from iTunes backups and iCloud. So their guides are actually very detailed here and contain pictures and so on. So if you don't know how to use the program, you can definitely check out their guides here. But I'm going to show you in this video how to use it. So to install it on macOS, you get a DMG file from the official website in here. But if you have Windows, you just press download here and get the exe file. It installs like any other program. And once you have it, this is the user interface. It has a couple of buttons here for the main features, one of which is phone to phone. Then you have phone restore. If you want to restore from backup or from iTunes or media library, iCloud data, Google data, and so on. Then you have phone backup, and you can choose between selective backup, which allows you to specify what you want to backup and what you want to leave out, or you can do a full backup, which contains absolutely everything. So that's actually cool. And then you have app transfer. This works with WhatsApp if you want to transfer your conversations and your attachments and so on, Line or Viber. And then you have normal applications as well, like any other kind of application. But in this case, only the part of the application data that is not restricted by app sandbox can be transferred. So let's do a phone to phone. For example, if you go here to phone to phone, you're going to have quick transfer, phone clone or phone merge. These all have different use cases depending on what you want to do. And they are all explained very well here on the guides section on the device. For example, on the phone to phone, you have phone clone, for example, and they give you a lot of information about what it does and of course how to use it. So on the quick transfer here, it says fast transfer between any devices in different systems. So you can transfer, for example, from iPhone to Android, Android to iPhone, but you can choose what data to transfer. And then you have the phone clone. This one is actually one click and it allows you to migrate data from an old device to a new one. Say for example you got a new iPhone, you press here start clone and of course you will be able to clone one device to another, no problem. And then you have the phone merge. This one merges the data from one device to another. For example, if you have already got some pictures or some numbers and so on on your phone, but you want to add the ones from the old one as well without overwriting the ones you have now, then this one would basically merge them together and you will end up with the new data and the old data on the same device. So as I said, different use cases for different features. The iTunes backup one is actually quite nice because you can restore an iTunes backup, even though iTunes is no more. As of macOS Catalina, the iTunes is no longer available, it's no longer a program. Yes, you can manage your devices here in Finder, but it's cumbersome and it takes time and so on, so it's definitely not the best. So this one is actually much better. I'm going to go with a quick transfer between two devices, and as you can see, it detected that one of the devices are actually Android, and it basically shows me how to activate USB debugging, which is required for this. And here you can press what kind of device you have. For example, for Sony, they have a different guide. For Huawei, they have a different guide here. And for the others, they basically send you to their website in which they show you exactly what you need to find. So give me a second, I'm going to activate the USB debugging. And for that, you have to go to settings, then navigate to general, and then you go to about phone and press on the build number a couple of times. And then you will have the developer options in which you can enable USB debugging. It's basically just a toggle, but you do get a proper guide here. So definitely good. And as you can see, my G6 is now connected. It says I'm running Android 9.0. It shows the space I have. And I basically want to transfer this iPad, the content of this iPad running 14.3, to this Android device running Android 9. So I press transfer here. It's going to ask me what I want to transfer. In this case, I only have a couple of photos. And I'm going to say transfer. It only takes a couple of seconds. And that's basically it successfully transferred. So now my Android device has that with no problem. Now, if I wanted to do a phone backup, I can go ahead with selective backup here and press start backup. And it asks me what I want to backup. So I can actually choose between the G6 and the uh, iPad, which means that I can backup both the Android and the iOS device, even though I'm running on Mac. So I'm actually going to backup my iPad in this case. 
to my computer and you can actually even select the backup path if you want it to be backed up here for example on desktop you can definitely do so i'm gonna press backup and it asks me what i want to choose from here to backup so i'm gonna go with the photos notes messages a voicemail and reminders press backup now it's going to take a few seconds and after that you will be able to have the backup complete on your device so this one may be a little bit longer because of course you may have more data to be backed up and depending how many photos and stuff you have this may indeed take more time but the program allows you to perform pretty serious backups on your device and of course that's actually great because you have all in one in here supports both android and ios and that's actually pretty great so check my backup here this is the backup file you can use it to restore and I can actually restore it if I want to for example I press in here and I can select this backup that I have press restore press restore now and that's basically it it's as easy to create a backup as it is to restore it so the tool actually allows you to manage both your Android devices and your iOS devices with ease which is pretty great because it means that you don't need two separate tools for your devices and then of course you can backup your apps like WhatsApp and so on if you have them and you can even get the iCloud data if you want to and the credentials are only only sent to Apple which is actually great or of course if you're talking about your Android device you can fetch your Google data for example your Google photos and so on all the account data so yeah that's basically it with phone trans a pretty great phone management utility which allows you to do proper backups and of course it allows you to do phone to phone transfers and so on and the great thing is that it supports both Android and iOS on the same tool so yeah, thank you for watching I am Geosnow till the next time check out the tool in the link below and peace out